Okay, before I start today's launch box and setting up Philips CDI setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today. Also helps out my channel a lot, plus you get notified every time I release a new setup guide. So we're looking at the very underrated and misunderstood Philips CDI and of course we've got Hotel Mario on this system as well as a really obscure Legend of Zelda games, Link games. So what we're going to do first then is take a look at the BIOS file. So I've got BIOS just here and what we're going to need for this is going to be in zip folder. So we need CDI BIOS.zip, we need CDI Mono1.zip and CDI Mono2.zip. Let's take a look what's inside of these. So with CDI BIOS.zip, we have two dot ROMs in here and you don't need to extract these. Inside of CDI Mono1.zip, we've got several files. So you need what I've got just here. And also inside of CDI Mono2.zip, we've got three files just here. So these zip folders are going to represent pretty much all the different Philips CDI systems. And there's a number of those. Next up, what we're gonna do then is actually open up LaunchBox. And whilst LaunchBox is just preparing itself, I've got a couple of games just there. I've got Zelda's Adventure and these are in .chd file extension. If you're not sure what .chd is, check out my setting up .chd. It's pretty much putting .bin and .q files into .chd, which is gonna save you space, plus get rid of lots of those irritating files that you're gonna see. So what I'm going to do first of all is just pop both of my Philips CDI games inside of a new folder and I'm going to just call this, say, CDI Games. Okay, so let's head back over into LaunchBox and what I'm going to do from here is go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Welcome to the Import ROMs from Files Wizards. This is just going to help us import our games into LaunchBox itself. If I go to next, next up we got to select the files to import. So what this is asking us to do is show LaunchBox where these CDI games are. So of course I've just put them into a new folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go to add folder and if I open up desktop just here, I'm going to find CDI games. If I left click on that once and then select folder and go to next. What platform are you importing games for? So what we need to do is drop this down and we're just gonna scroll down until we find Philips CDI. You can also type into this little box just here. And there we go, we're gonna go to next. Choose an emulator. So what we're gonna do just here is actually drop this down and we're gonna use RetroArch for this. And once you've selected RetroArch for core, what we're going to do is just like choose the emulator, we're going to drop this down until we find same CDI. And here we go, same underscore CDI underscore the retro. Just select that one and we're going to go to next. Next part of this you're going to see is if you want LaunchBox to relocate your games. So this is your two top options just here. I'm going to leave the games where they are, which is on my desktop, so use the files in their current location. If I left click, and I'm also going to make sure that search for game information in the local meta database is checked. I'm going to go to next. Now the next part of this, like I'm always going to say, is this is pretty much there for Big Box, which is of course the premium version of LaunchBox. So by selecting all of this, once we go inside a big box, LaunchBox Premium Edition, we're gonna get all the artwork possible. If you're not gonna be using big box and you're just using the free version of LaunchBox, then to be honest with you, you'll probably just want to check none and just choose box 3D and say box full, for example. For me, what I'm gonna do is just go to check all. I'm gonna to go to next. Next part of this is going to be MU Movies. So, just like the previous option, this is pretty much here for people using Big Box. So, if we sign up with MU Movies, which costs a few dollars to do so, once we're using Big Box, we'll get video previews. But, like I say, it does cost, but I highly recommend the entire setup for Big Box, including MU Movies. So, I'm going to go to next. 
Next part of this, what we can do is actually download bezels. So when we're playing our CDI games, instead of having black bars on the side of the screen, we can actually replace this with artwork. So what I'm gonna do is just select system bezels and make sure download bezels is checked. If I go to next and next, and right now it's just scanning for my games, which are located on my desktop, which I've just linked up with Launchbox to find them. We can see we've got Hotel Mario and Zelda's Adventure, both in .chd file extension. I now need to go to finish. And as we can see from the top, it's now refreshing local metadata from Launchbox Games Database. So what this is doing at this point is just searching for individual information on each one of my games. Uh, for example, the year of the game release, a bit of artwork and pretty much all those little important little details of each game. So at this point, what we're going to do is just leave this to do what it's doing. So here we go, we've got Hotel Mario and Zelda's Adventure. Both of these have now been successfully imported into Launchbox. Let me just remind you, if you're using the free version of Launchbox, just go to Image Group. We can change the artwork on these just like that. You're also going to notice on the side, Consoles is going to appear and Philips CDI. So if you want to launch one of these games, we can either right click on it, Launch With, RetroArch and same CDI or we can just left click on one of the games and left click on play. And as you can see, we've actually got no picture. What's happened is, is that we haven't included those BIOS files. I'm gonna show you how to install these now. So what we're gonna do is just access a quick menu in RetroArch. I'm pressing my Google Stadium button for this. If you're using a PlayStation controller, it will be your PS button. For Xbox controllers, it will be your Xbox button. From here, what we need to do is just go down to close content. So what we're gonna do then is actually find the location of Launchbox and RetroArch, and we're gonna put those BIOS files into place, which I'll show you earlier on this video. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to my Launchbox shortcut, right click, open file location, and you should find emulators just here. And here's RetroArch, if we go inside of there, we're now gonna go down to the system folder, and in here, we need to create a new folder. If I right click new folder, I'm going to call this same underscore CDI. And I'm going to create another folder inside of this one. And I'm going to call this one BIOS. Now I'm going to just go inside of that BIOS folder I've just created. And then I can drag in those .zip folders. Cool. So I'm now going to go back to Launchbox and I'm going to open up Hotel Mario. And I'm now using my D-pad on my Google Stadia controller to control the cursor. And to play the game, I'm going to press A. So as we can see, the game's running really well, but it looks a little bit off color. So if we go back into the RetroWatch quick menu, remember I'm pressing Google Steady button to enter this. What we can do from here is just go down to core options, press A to enter into this. We got lots of options here, such as light gun mode. We can actually enable light guns for this. And if I go down to resolution, it's currently set to the native resolution of CDI, which would have been 640 by 480. If I open this, I can actually set this to 4K if I wanted to. What I'm actually gonna do though, is set it to 1080p. Okay, and if I come back out into the RetroArch main menu and just drop down to settings, if I can go down to video and scaling, if I turn scaling on, we can see that the image in the background is reduced in size, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because by compressing it, the stretch is gonna go. If we go back into the game, quick menu and resume.
And as you can see by condensing that image, it doesn't look so stretched. But we can go back to settings again, video and scaling. And from here, we can go to aspect ratio. And if we put this on full, we can actually get a full screen. So if I go back into the game again, quick menu and resume. But because we applied that video setting before, which was scaling and in integral scale, if you look at the backgrounds now, we've actually got a full screen. But as you can see, it doesn't look right. So really under settings, video and scaling, it's really up to you in preference how you prefer your CDI games to look. Now, of course, originally these were really going to be 4x3. If we put the 4x3, this will be the true size. And under scaling, we've also got bilinear filtering. So say a game looks okay in full under aspect ratio, it might still look pixelated. If we turn on bilinear filtering, Let's go back into the game. So it's added a slight blur to the image. And again, under settings, video, we can actually drop right down to the bottom and go into video filter. And right now I've got dark grid enabled from my last setup guide. If we take this right to the top and put another filter on such as two times BR, and if I go back into the game, quick menu, resume. And as you can see, by applying a different filter, the game looks a lot better like this. So just remember under video, video filter, you've got a host just here. Now, if you don't have this, you can actually use RetroWatch just here to download this by going to main menu, online updater, and just go down to update slang shaders. And that should then resolve the problem. And of course, we also need to save these settings. Otherwise, if we don't save it, then all these video settings you're gonna to apply to your CDI games will go to waste. So to do this, we just need to go to quick menu, core options. And if we go to manage course, we got two options there to save what we've done in RetroWatch. We can use save game options, which will apply for this current game only, using the same CDI core. Or if we go to save content directory options, those video settings will then save to every game that you use for same CDI. So if I then quit out of this, this time, if I open up Zelda's Adventure, those same video settings should then apply. And just remember to move the cursor around, it's actually D-pad. And I'm gonna press A on Play CDI. And that's it for today's Launchbox and Philips CDI setup guide. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also check out my Launchbox playlist as well as my other front end playlists and standalone emulator setup guide playlists. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.